With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in the given circuit determine the equivalent resistance including the internal resistance, current I1, I2, I3 and I, potential difference across the battery and each resistance. So let us find out. So if you see potential difference across the battery and across the three resistor will be same and that will be if, if I mark them as A, B, so it will be V, A, B. Right. So let us find out first the equivalent resistance. So these three are connected in parallel. Alright. So if I write down the resistance of these three, it will be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. So it is, if you see 1 by 8 plus 2 by 8 plus 1 by 8 it will be 4 by 8 so from here we will get this resistance of these three it is 2 and this is in parallel so if i write down the equivalent resistance it will be 2 plus 1 right so if you see here as you go, get the equivalent resistance you can get the current as well it will be simply and it is 6 by 3 so it is 2 ampere so 2 ampere is the current through battery this now if i talk about the current i1 i2 i3 so if you see the potential difference across them is vab only right so if i write down vab first of all it will be e minus ir right if you write down across this and it will be I1 into 8, I1 into R1 that is 8, I2 into 4 is equals to I3 into 8 again. Alright, so since they all are connected between A and B. Alright, so if you see here E minus IR, so I is this and E is 6, so it will be 4. So E minus IR is so if you see here it is I18 is equals to I2 into 4 right so it will be I2 into 4 is equals to I3 into 8 so you can see what we got it is I1 is equals to I3 is equals to half ampere and I2 is equals to 1 ampere so see we got the current as well through each one of them and if I talk about the potential difference across each one of them it is 4 volt E minus IR right so if you see the questions again so equivalent resistance already you can see we, we wrote it as 3 ohm and the current I is 2 ampere I1 I2 is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 I1, I3 is 0.5 and 0.5. I2 is 1 and this is 0.5. So, these will be the current. Potential difference across the battery and each resistance all are having put same potential difference across the, them and that is E minus IR and it, it will be 4 volt. Now, let's move to the next three. Rate at which the chemical energy of the cell is being consumed. So, if I write down the rate of chemical energy consumed, so if I write down rate with which the chemical energy is being consumed, it is equal to E into I. So, if you see E is 6, I is 1. So, it is 6 watt. Right. So, if you see here, rate at which heat is being generated inside the battery simply i square r r is 1 i is 2 rate of heat generation it will be i square r i is 2 r is 1 so it is 4 watt if you see the current is 2 this is 1 and if you see here the third if you see we got it is 4 watt electrical power output so the generated energy minus the heat generated will be the power out output so if i write down the power output electrical power output equal to ei 
minus i square r that is 6 minus 4 it is 2 volt right so let me mark this it is 2 volt now which resistance consume maximum power so potential difference across each of them is same so the power consumption will be inversely related with the resistance the one which is having least resistance power consumed by that will be most all right and uh, if you see here you can now check if you see the resist the which resistance will consume the uh, consume the maximum power so if you see this four resistance will consume the maximum power because it is the least one right and you can also see here what will be the amount it will be the current through it it, 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 it is one right and one square into r right it will be four watt i square r it will be four watt now if you see power dissipated across the four watt already we have seen the power dissipated across this resistance two if i mark them it is one this two and this is three it will be simply i2 square into r2 r2 so if you see here i2 is one so one square into four so it is four volt already we have seen this right so this is the power consumed by the four ohm so now you can see these are the answer of a b c d e f g h part thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.